Today I'm going to show you a TCL Smart TV issue. Uh, so actually, uh, first uh, I will show you what is the issue. Uh, uh, so the TV, when I turn on the TV, see uh, this white line on button of the screen it is time to time appearing so the tv is loaded uh, completely now if i go to the smart tv function and is the issue uh, in here you can see in this area the screen is flickering see and the same time you can see a white line here it is time to time appearing it is not random it is continuously appearing so if we go to the upper side of the screen <coughs> there is no issue this is happening only in this area and if I go to this view, you can clearly see. Uh, but if you closely look at in this area, we turn off the camera flash. Now you can see small lines, lines are appearing in here. In this white area you can see now it is disappear now it is appearing small black lines with the with the same pattern see so if I go to this side of the screen that issue is there if I come to the upper side of the screen in here then with this white area that la lines are not visible so that means the issue is exist in this area uh, more than the other area the other side of the screen so this side and the bottom side of the screen so uh it look like this is a <coughs> uh, t con board issue or panel issue actually uh, this tv uh, i will show you the model number this is the model number this tv is uh, model is very famous in australia actually i i have repaired around 10 or 15 TV TVs with the, the same model uh, with different issues actually 90% of issues are in backlight this is common issue for this TV uh, the backlight issue is common for this TV most of the TVs the backlight is uh, are dead few of LEDs are damage so we have to replace LEDs so this case this this issue also I repaired one TV with the exact same issue but that that TV the this blinking area is not limited to this one it's it's around half of the screen but this TV it is appearing in this area uh, this area also there's a small line uh, so i'm guessing that this is the the same issue i previously fixed 
so what was the issue uh, first i thought the issue was in the tcon board then i replaced the tcon board but it does not fix the issue uh, later i understood that this is a panel issue so i did a trick to fix the issue uh, so i will show you how i fix the issue uh, again i'm not sure whether this is the same issue i'm guessing that if uh, now i'm going to show you how to uh, how to do a trick to fix this issue this panel issue uh, if that works uh, then you can see the video uh, so let's uh, see what happened so now i'm going to uh, remove the back cover and show you uh, how i fix this uh, panel issue and now i remove the back cover and actually we need to remove the this one also i already removed the screw so uh, when you remove this one mm, uh, you can see the speaker connectors here the white one so you can remove the speaker connector from the a bit difficult here and this red one the other speaker right speaker okay I removed the speaker connectors and uh, actually we need this uh, remote sensor for turning on the TV and check so I'm going to keep this one connected with the board uh, so this one so you can remove this one this is the Wi-Fi module and you can remove this uh, back side see a button also this one we not don't need this demo so except the ir sensor remote sensor i removed everything uh also this the ir sensor so uh, as I explained before, actually, I uh, I found the same type of issue in uh, TV. So first, I replaced this Tcon board because I was thinking that the issue was this is in the Tcon board. So I replaced the Tcon board, but it did not work. So then uh what i did uh, so first of all i i will do a check uh, with cleaning the ribbon cables i will clean the ribbon cable and see whether it fixed the issue because i'm not sure uh, where is the issue still so i'm going to clean uh, the ribbon cable Okay, first uh, 
I'm going to turn this TV Okay, now I can see the pictures clearly after cleaning the ribbon. Okay, now I'm going to uh, clean this ribbon cables and this one uh, using the alcohol swab. starting from here if there are oxide in this pin maybe it fixed the issue so cleaning them when you, when you put this cable and remove this cable just notice there is a lock in this this corners edges so you need to put that edges uh, properly when you removing the and inserting the cable if not it will damage the cable this one After you clean in the cable, just uh, put it back quickly before evaporating the alcohol, then the remaining alcohol will clean up the other side also. Uh, so just after cleaning this one with the alcohol, uh, just quickly uh, insert the cable. That helps to clean the other end of the connector. and this one there's a lock here if you closely look at this one there's a lock here you need to pull it up like this this is a lock pull it then pull the cable now you can clean the cable and when the the lock is up just insert the cable back then apply the lock back like this and this one also there is a lock here in these two sides you have to push the lock and pull the cable and then you can clean the connector pins like this 
then when you insert it back you don't want to press the lock it will automatically apply okay now uh, I'm going to uh, check the TV uh, after cleaning so I'm going to connect the power Okay, uh, got to turn on the TV. Uh, actually, the issue, issue is still there. You can see the white line in here. It is appearing now. The TV is up, upside down, so the line is in here. You can see the white line and if I go to the menu see the issue is still there it is blinking in this side but not in the upper side It is not random it's it is uh, blinking time to time with two three second gap so uh, what I did in the previous TV uh, first I will turn off the TV and show you Actually now uh, we can assume that the issue is in the T-Con or panel but based on previous my previous experience I understood the issue is not in the T-Con board it is it was in the panel so uh, so I'm guessing that the issue is in this panel so the uh, for some reason this panel is short circuit so how this work actually this decon uh, board generate timing video signals the timing uh, pulses for the panel to uh, s switching the uh, pixels in the screen so it is high speed switching so it has many lines going through this ones uh, clock signal and data signal to uh, uh, switching the pixel in the screen so what happened in this scenario uh, there is a short circuit in this uh, switching path the clock signals so going from the TCON board to the panel it may be in this driver uh, circuit or it is in the panel itself so actually in the previous TV I checked the all uh, driver uh, board component here the capacitors whether there is a short circuit uh, capacitors here so whether there is a short circuit capacitors uh, uh, that may cause to short circuit that signal but uh, in that TV I couldn't find any uh, issues with this driver circuit so i'm not going to check that in this tv i'm directly going to do the trick to get the tv is working so what i did in here uh, so uh, these lines 
uh, these connectors they have many lines uh, so that switching signals the clock signals we can block some clock signals uh, to find which uh, clock signals are short circuit in this panel so what can we do actually we can disconnect some lines because we don't know which line is short circuit so we have to uh, do trial and error method to find the short circuit pin so what now i'm going to do i'm starting from one side and going through uh, uh, pins in this uh, connector i'm disabling i'm disconnecting some pins to check whether the tv is working then going from this end to this ends then we can find uh, where is the short circuit so i'm starting from here so what i do it is difficult to sort the uh, disconnect the pins here it's very very uh, small pin so we can't cut the pin and uh, so resolder again it is not good so what i'm going to do i'm going to uh, remove the cable and apply some uh, tape in here then if I paste uh, tape in here for the first five pins we can disconnect then if we apply the, the cable here then it will disconnect these five pins so that way I'm going to disconnect some pins here and uh, uh, with the uh, if it is not fixed I'm going to do the same thing for the other side right side and uh, I will try to, to find the uh, short circuit pin in this that way so I will show you how, how to apply a tape so I'm not I'm not going to use uh, tape actually it is difficult to paste and uh, remove the tape so instead of using the tape uh, I'm going to use this poly thing oh, cut a small piece like this so this one now I'm going to use this small uh, poly thing to disconnect uh, some pins in that ribbon cable. Let's see uh, how it works. So now I turn off the TV so I'm starting from here and the clock signals are in this side so I'm starting from here I normally don't block the last pin from here and last pin from here because they are power lines so we don't need to block that so I'm starting from here you can insert the we, we, we want to disconnect these pins from this one so i'm going to apply this polythene in here like this now see these lines are blocking with contacting this one it's it will not contact with this line so now here you can see it clearly these few lines are blocked not the last one now I'm going to insert the cable okay now few lines from this end is blocked is disconnected now let's see what happened when we turn on the TV okay I'm going to turn on the switch 
and fine turn on the TV okay let's look at the line till I can't see the line they still the TV is booting okay let's turn on if I go to menu and then we can easily see whether the issue is fixed or not. No, see, uh, the issue is still. I will turn off the flashlight. No, now you can see the issue is still there. Uh, in here, you can clearly see. It is blinking. So it does not fix the issue so now what I'm going to do I'm changing the position of that uh, polythene uh, piece then check whether it find the issue I'm going to turn off the TV and now I'm going to change the place I insert the tape so this one I'm going to move it in here based on my previous experience I know it is in this this side this corner or this corner so I'm going to go through this one and switch into this one Now I disconnected some pins in here, not this corner. Let's see what happened. Going to turn on the TV. No, it doesn't fix the issue, so you can clearly see. Actually, I can see the line here. This line also appears. Uh, still boot in the TV. If I go to menu. Now it is. We can see lot of issues now. The uh, some vertical lines also the it is not clear. So the issue is still exist. Now I'm going to. Uh, change the location again turn off the TV and remove this and move this little bit this way okay now check turning on the TV Oh, now it's completely blocked the signal so it does not work so now I'm I'm thinking that I'm doing it in the wrong side so what I'm going to do I'm trying that uh, from other side this one I remove this completely be careful when you remove and insert in this cable it may be damaged now Starting from here, again, not blocking the last line, starting from the second or third, 
and see it is in here okay let's see again uh, it's a wrong place so I'm going to move the tape again Okay, now I block the line in here. Let's turn on and see. No, nothing on the screen. So let's try it again. I think it is in this this side or this side Okay, let's check it again. Gotta turn on the TV. Yeah, started. I can't see the white line. Let's go to the menu and see. Yes, I think it fixed the issue. So, if we closely look at this edge, this edge. see uh, now it fixed the issue so actually now I confirmed that this is the same issue I fix uh, in the same model previously it had the exact same issue but uh, at that TV uh, the half of the screen uh, half of the screen was uh, flickering but this TV it's uh, this small pa part was flickering but the same issue so maybe it is a common fault for this tv 
so you can fix the issue using that trick if you see some issues with the panel short circuit like that uh, this is the model number again if you found the same issue in the same TV you can fix it using that trick uh, so actually this board it is difficult to find where is the clock line so that is why I had to go and try and find the issue so this is the right side right side I I disconnected line in here this side this place uh, so if you see any type of uh, panel issues if if you see that type of flickering in the screen and when you replace the beacon board if the issue is still exist you can try this method actually i found that method in a youtube uh, video uh, not the same issue but panel short circuit issue here in that video i saw that the way he disconnected this line and fixed the panel issue so that is why actually i i followed that the same step for the previous tv and it works so that trick works for this tv as well uh one more thing uh if you see after the fixing if you closely look at the screen if you see some uh, unwanted lines especially black lines you have to use this white area to check that in this one i can't see if you see any vertical sorry horizontal lines black lines after fixing the issue then you need to do some adjustment in here you can still move the place we disconnected little bit this way or this way and try to get the get a clear picture without some uh, without uh, some black lines in the screen fortunately this time i i placed the uh, polythene tape in the right place so i can't see any issues so the tv uh, tv is working without any issues now after you uh, found the correct location to add the tape in here you can take a photo from this back side and remove the cable and you can apply a permanent insulator tape to uh, disconnect that line that way is uh, much better instead of using the the polythene so I will show you that as well so if you see for the lines you have to make adjustment in the tape and you can uh, change the tape thickness as well as uh, the location then do the adjustment here and find the best uh, picture you can get here just uh, carefully observe whether there is any line and then make the adjustment so after you found the the location you can apply a permanent tape like this you can use this tape and get a small piece of the tape like this and apply it like this actually the the, the correct place was in this corner if you carefully look at my video uh, you will notice when i apply the the polythene tape in this location it's when I apply the cable it slightly moved that side so it covers this uh, this side few lines uh, three four lines so I actually I noticed that uh, uh, later so this is the correct place so I applied a permanent tape 